I'm the Managing Director for Wilford Construction and today on Tuesday we're doing Take a Tour Tuesday live from our Guildford site in, in, in London. Um, we're currently building a new south entrance for MTR Elizabeth line. Uh, with me I have um, part of our site team, I have Carl Thatcher who's our site manager and Mark Hogan who is our general foreman. So Carl, how's it going? Yeah, really well. Um, it's progressed steadily. Um, obviously we've had our issues site's quite constrained there's not a lot of parking around here or anything so we've, we've had troubles you know the job wise um, getting materials in and out has been trouble um, but i think we've done really well we've got the building up um, obviously we're quite close to the railway as you can see so that was is obviously has its own its own challenges um, the glazing is going really well as you can see all, all, all nice lovely glasses in um, we're just working on our containment for all of our mechanical and everything now so obviously as you can see all the containments are starting to get run around which will be encased in a freeze um, with nice access and that so that people it's a rewirable system so that people can rewire it and get and get in there add new cameras lighting etc um, as they need to do so um, the floor has not long gone down so we're just getting ready um, for all of that to, all for that to have nice terrazzo tiles on well, we've got some nice fins going along down the outside um, aluminium fins, one and a half mil thick, so they're, they're going to look really nice when, when they're finished. We'll put them on at a later date so they don't get damaged and that, so it's all to do because we're so close to everything. We need to keep everything as protected as we can. Um, but yeah, we've got a disabled access ramp going in, straight out onto platform one, uh, which they haven't got at the moment. So that allowed, that allowed um, disabled access onto the platform and into the station for everybody. So Mark, if you've been the general foreman, on the ground looking after all the subcontractors and their own direct workforce. How have you found uh, managing the COVID-19 restrictions since we come back to work? It's a little bit challenging. Um, so it's not normal for us to be working close to each other, and especially when you're lifting materials and these glass panels are quite weighty, um, especially for the external stuff as well. But we've just had to try and mitigate it. It's so has everybody sort of been willing and sort of jumped on board with the restrictions? Yeah, I mean, everybody's been out and about wearing masks um, to the shops and whatever, yeah, so we've just had to incorporate that in the workplace, um, making sure that obviously they're using the PPE correctly, um, obviously washing of hands, we've got our COVID cleaning station, extra um, extra facilities on site for cleaning, washing down, um, and just, just keeping on top of that really. I suppose it makes it even more difficult now because we've got all the restrictions for COVID. And now we find ourselves in 30 degree plus heat. That must have been a challenge. Have you and the guys been coping with that? Just a restock of PPE. So every, I mean, if you're in it for sort of 10, 15 minutes, 20 minutes in this heat, it, you're, you're sweating out. It's, it's not, it's not particularly very nice. But yeah, it's just obviously fresh PPE and obviously disposing of it. We've got our COVID cleaning bins, so we can put all this stuff separate from our general waste, and then that'll be disposed of. I'd like to introduce Lawrence Dunn, he's the project manager on behalf of MTR Elizabeth Line. On behalf of the client, Lawrence, how's the job going? Uh, yeah, it's going very well. Uh, we're all very impressed from uh, MTR and TFL and Redbridge Council who we're working in conjunction with here. Uh, very impressed with the progress that's being made on site, especially with the measures uh, that have to be implemented through uh, COVID-19. And we did have a little bit of a stand down uh, period, which was instructed by TfL. Um, but we're, pr we're proud to say that Walkers were one of our first contractors back on site implementing good measures to make sure that we deliver this project in the best time that we can. So just to show you how restricted the site is, we're standing on the third floor of an adjacent development, which has just gone up. And you can see by looking where the building is, how restricted the site is. So what are we looking at, Carl, in terms of roof? Um, so quite recently, we just put on a new uh, Protan roofing system, which has got rubberized roofing uh, with some box gutters on the platform side, top and bottom. Uh, new custom made fascias, all powder coated, have just been installed. We've been just, we're just waiting on the corners, obviously the fascias are getting installed because the corner pieces are so uh, intricate, obviously they need to be uh, templated and then they'll be sent off to be site welded and then uh, to, uh, to be um, factory welded and then they'll be powder coated as well just sent back. We've got the Manso system, access, access hatch in the middle of the lower level roof, 
Um, that obviously the fleet can then come up and you can clip onto the man stations and walk around the ladder bracket over there for a, a handheld ladder to be installed so you can get up onto the higher level roof just to, uh, for maintenance really. So bearing in mind looking around these high rise developments, they've gone up at the same time that we've been building and they're now occupied by new residents. How difficult is it then managing the residents and probably more important the expectations the residents. Well, you know, we have chats with them most mornings. Me and Mark can turn up early hours of the mornings. We have chats with these guys who live in this building. You know, we, we know a few guys that live in that building now. Um, and we, we, have, we have a good relationship. We've had no complaints since we've been here. You know, our, any heavy deliveries, our liaise with these buildings to let them know about parking situations and everything. As you can see, everyone's parking is around right where we're going to be doing our main deliveries. So at the minute, we've had, we've been here for about a year now. We've had, we've had no um, we've had no complaints whatsoever. Really and I think this shot here just highlights, up at this level, how close we are to the railway infrastructure, particularly the red lines and passing trains. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, what a challenge that's been. Yeah, definitely. I mean, that, it, it, it was a, it was a bit of a challenge really with the plan to install in all the steel framework because obviously we're going to be we're installing five and a half feet long steel, six meters away from, from from an open line. So obviously we did the main steel for weekend possession works. Other than that, that's the that's the only weekend works we've had we've had to do here. So it, it, it's had its challenges get being so close to everything. As you can see, the, the bridge is quite close to the building itself. So I'd say it's had its challenges, but we have we have got there. We've done most of the works that require us to be that side now. So when's completion? Uh, completion is due end of September. So fingers crossed. At the moment, we seem to be going on on, on track. Fingers crossed, no spanners going to work. So we're at, like, we're at, we've done the hard parts now. We're just rewiring and things now. So completion should be should be on track. Well, I think that's now the end of a, a walk a walk on Tuesday. Um, well done. Keep up the good work. Just wait for the ribbon cutting day. Yeah, lovely. Yeah. <laughs>